God bless you, child of God, wherever you are today, that you are listening to the sound of my voice. I thank God for your life. I came here this day to share the word of God with you. I won't take much of your time, but I know that this word will bless you and it will bless me as well. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this wonderful day, Lord. I pray that you lead us as you are about to share the word of God today. Give us the meaning and understanding of your word and let your word lead us into the place where you want us to be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. God bless you, child of God, for listening to me today. I'm so glad to have all of you here because the Lord has placed a word on my heart that I want to share with you. But this is going to be part one of the topic that I'm going to talk about <clears throat> within this few minutes today. Uh, this video is going to be part one. And I've entitled The Power of Obedience. The Power of Obedience. And what is the meaning of obedience? Obedience means uh, it's an act of instant obeying. It's an act of instant obeying meaning at any time somebody tells you something you obey you do it quickly you do it immediately that is that is that is the obedience hallelujah and is there any power behind obedience yes at any time we obey especially god something happens supernaturally hallelujah as child of god you must disobey satan whatever satan tells you don't do it hallelujah but whatever god tells you make sure that you do it because when you do them you receive supernatural move of god there's a blessing that comes after obedience so obedience is very very vital very important in the life of every child now let's read the book of genesis chapter 12 verse from verse number one Genesis chapter 12 says that now the Lord has said to Abraham, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will, verse 2 says that I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Verse 3, I will bless those that blesses you and I will curse who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now, this is the word that God spoke to Abraham, that I have a deal with you. If only you obey me. The question here is obedience. Hallelujah. God came to Abraham and said, I want you to leave your country, leave where you are sitting, the place where you are, and go to where I will show you and I will bless you. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, Abraham obeyed. Listen, church, our uh, uh, people of God, it is, it, is, it, it is a blessing when God speaks and we act immediately. Now we have a nation called Israel. Now we have Christianity today because a certain man called Abraham decided to listen to the voice of God. He decided to obey the word that God spoke to him. You see, now we have a lot of people that we enjoy the, the, the Abrahamic blessing, the Abrahamic covenant. It's still speaking for many of us today. And we normally pray the Lord, the God of Abraham. Now we have God of Abraham because a certain Abraham availed himself when God came and said, if only you will leave your country, you will leave your land and your father's house. It's a hard thing. And where am I going? But God said, go. I will show you where you should go. God should have, I mean, Abraham should have asked God, can you tell me where you want me to go first before I will obey you? But Abraham did not know, he did not know where he was going, but still he believed the word. He believed that, yes, God has spoken. And if I obey, something will happen. And Bible said that Abraham left the family. He left everyone. And he went according to the word of God. Abraham is no more alive. But today we are mentioning the name of Abraham here. Why? Because he decided to obey the voice of God. Blessings that come after obedience. The power of obedience. One obedience that you obey God. Listen. If you listen to God and you obey him, it can give you generational blessing. It can, it can, it can give you, I mean, a certain blessing that, I mean, nobody, no man can give to you. It can be, a, it, it will give you a blessing that your entire generation will benefit from. But listen, 
as one obedient can open the door for the entire family the same way one disobedient can also shut the whole i mean blessings of god's people in a certain family some fathers disobeyed and they could not i mean bring anything meaningful to their family another man also obeyed god and now the entire family is enjoying the blessings of god and you see god said i will make you a great nation if you want to become a great nation you must obey god and he said i will bless you if you need the blessings of god you must obey god and he said i will make you a great and you shall be a blessing listen you're going to be a blessing each day in your life if you're going to be a blessing each day in your life you must obey God the power of obedience and God said anybody that curses you I the Lord I will curse them that means he said anybody that will try to fight you I the Lord I will fight for you you don't need to fight leave the pattern for me and I will do it for you that is the power of obedience when you obey God you don't fight the battle God fight your battle for you I want you you and I to be obedient to the voice of God and when you do that we will enter into the realms of God and the blessings of God will be ours I want you to share this video I want you to subscribe to our channel I am this is part one I am going to continue with a part two very soon so for you not to miss this the part two please subscribe and share for everyone that you know God bless you for having you here thank you see you again